successful PBC cold welding, and you. These are the tools used for successful PVC cold welding. To achieve a nearly invisible seam, a close cut is required. This can be done using the double cut technique. The floor covering should be overlapped by 3 to 5 centimeters. The overlapping layers will be cut in one step using a metal straight edge. Pressing firmly, cut along the metal line. Careful, don't press too hard or you may lose control of the knife. After the double cut technique is achieved, the remaining pieces must be removed. And the floor layers will be folded back. The seam area has to be affixed to the floor by using double-sided adhesive tape. Do your best to center the tape underneath. Bring both edges tightly together. Press the floor firmly to the double-sided tape to avoid differences in height between the two layers. A seam roller is very helpful. The seam area must be clean and dry for the adhesive to function. Masking tape that is resistant to the cold welding liquid has to be centered evenly over the closely cut seam. It is absolutely vital to avoid damage to the outer floor finish coating. Apply the masking tape tightly by using a seam roller. This is to prevent the liquid from penetrating underneath the tape. Easily cut the masking tape with a rolling knife in the seam area. A straight or hooked blade can be used as an alternative to the rolling knife. Careful, don't damage the edges of the floor while cutting the tape. This can be done effectively by pressing the knife deeply into the seam. This allows for an easy blade flow. This is our PVC cold welding liquid type A. Shake the tube well before use. For the close cut seams which usually come with newly installed flooring, cold welding liquid type A with a firmly mounted needle in the middle should be used. Clean the nozzle and needle before use with a clean cloth. To apply the liquid, press the needle firmly into the seam and guide the flow of the liquid along the edge with your free hand.
The amount of cold welding liquid used is ideal if a line of approximately 5 millimeters on the masking tape is visible. Make sure no liquid drips or flows into the uncovered area of the floor, as this will damage the floor. After 10 minutes, the liquid on the tape should be dry so the tape can be removed, leaving behind a nearly invisible seam. The quality of this seam has been proven by extensive testing throughout several countries in the world. You can trust PVC cold welding.